a man started off a business with certain capital amount in the first year he earned 60 percentage profit and donated 50 percentage of the total capital including initial amount plus profit he followed the same procedure with the remaining capital after the second and third year if at the end of 3 years he is left with rupees 15360 what was the initial amount with which the man started his business i'll take initial amount as 500 rupees you can take it as 500 or 1000 rupees but if you take it as 100 rupees it will be difficult for you to calculate it for 3 years so just take 500 or 1000 now he earned 60 percentage profit in the first year so 10 percentage of 500 is 50 so 50 into 6 is equal to 300 is the 60 percentage profit now he donated 50 percentage of total capital 50 percentage he donated to charity now 50 percentage of 800 is equal to 400 rupees now remaining is 400 rupees for the second year again he got 60 percentage of 400 10 percentage is 40 means 60 percentage is 6 into 40 240 rupees and he donated 50 percentage of it that is 50 percentage of 640 he donated that is 320 he donated remaining is 320 for the third year 320 capital for the third year he got 60 percentage of 320 means here 60 percentage means 10 percentage is 32 60 percentage is 6 into 3 6 into 30 180 6 into 2 12 so 180 plus 12 was 192 rupees is the rupees is the 60 percentage of 320 again he donated 50 percentage of 320 plus 192 300 plus 200 is 500 500 plus 12 512 rupees 60 percentage of 512 means 256 rupees that is remaining is 256 that is 256 rupees he donated and remaining is 256 rupees at the end of third year now you can see here at the end of third year he left with 15360 which means this 256 rupees in the question is given as 15360 rupees now if i cancel it with 16 16 goes 16 times in 256 16 goes 10 times in 160 so 9 times in 153 means remaining is equal to 16 into 9 is equal to 144 so remaining is 96 so 16 into 6 is equal to 96 remaining is 0 now 16 goes 6 times in 96 remaining 0 so one part is equal to here one rupees is equal to 60 rupees then here we need initial amount initial amount is 500 rupees 500 rupees means 500 into 60 that is 6 into 5 30 30000 rupees 30000 rupees so option 2 is your answer